In another video, we took a look at localized morphing of an object based on the distance of another object. And the video went something like this. And the result was this. When you move an object, and in this case we moved a null object, it would use a morph target, and this is using a couple morph targets, uh, but it would only affect the points close to the null object. And I've gotten a lot of uh, requests for how to do that without using the node editor. And I thought we could take a look. So I'm going to go over to the object properties, deform tab. I'd like to first start by saying I believe there is far greater control uh, in the node editor. Um, so I would definitely go this route. But if you don't have access to the node editor or would, would like to see another way of doing it, we can turn that off and we can come over to the add displacement drop down and we can choose normal displacement. I'm going to go ahead and double click that to open it and I'll close down this window and we're going to use the exact same setup here but as I scrub through you can see that nothing's happening because we uh, we unchecked, we unactivated the node editor that has that setup. And what I'm going to do is come over to the displacement direction instead of normals I'm going to choose morph map. We need to choose uh, a morph and we have the bend and the small. The bend bends over each one of the, the little shapes here and the small just shrinks it down. So let's choose bend and right now nothing happens. We need to set up a texture. So I'm going to go over to texture for texture editor and uh, we'll set up a, a, a quick gradient. So layer type gradient input parameter we're going to do distance to object object we're going to choose the distant null just like we did in the the node editor in the other video and now we just need to if we move this out of the way we'll see they're all bending because we're saying right here we're saying a hundred percent whether it's close to it or 10 meters away so we need to adjust this and we want it to be a hundred percent when it's close to it so when it gets farther away we need a value of zero Okay, and let's just take a look at what's happening with this. Okay, as it gets close, they start bending. Now I can fan this out and they'll bend more. Okay, it doesn't have to get as close. But so you can adjust this gradient. You're going to want to make sure that you check your size. Um, and you can adjust all of this. It's very similar to setting up in the node editor. It's just you're not using the node. Uh, node editor for this and now we can see that when it gets close it starts morphing so I'm going to go back to the object properties panel and remember that's just adding the displacement of normal displacement and picking the morph and then creating a gradient so that it's the distance to that object if you want now in the node editor let's just go take one quick look we can have multiple morph targets. You can have, you know, as many as you want. Um, uh, with the normal displacement, you can see that I could just pick one, but nothing stops me from copying and pasting the same setup and choosing small as well. And then we can just turn off the node editor. We, we want to make sure that that's not active. And as we run through this, they're shrinking and rotating. If I just turn off the top one, you can see it's using the the morph that shrinks them down but we can blend multiple and you can just keep adding as many as you want so it's the equivalent of setting up in the node editor but using the normal displacement uh, as another option uh, for getting the same effect 